Hey YouTube, aka Soggy Buns here, and today in this video what I want to do is I want to talk about the Ubiquiti NBE M5-16 and how I helped my cousin out by making a point-to-point -point, uh, system for his house. So basically Bill, I just wanted to uh, show you I guess kind of a more of a little vlog style video of how I went about testing to see if this point-to-point -point system would work. So what I did is I got two of these M5s from Amazon and they're actually pretty cheap. They're only about $60 each, so $120 for each of these. And they're pretty cool the way that they work. They kind of they can act like as a bridge uh, from one to the other one. And well, the way that I had it set up was I had one acting as a bridge from um, one network. It would shoot across, and these little bad boys can shoot five miles, but I only had them going just a couple hundred feet. <laughs> if that, they might have been a little bit of overkill, but it was totally fine because it works so good. Um, so anyways, use one as a bridge to a network, and then you beam the signal over to the other one, and the other one work, works as an access point. So what I did here is I'm just testing them out. I got the one right here. The one right here, my printer is hooked up to my network. It's acting as the bridge. I had it, I did the configurations and the settings, and I'll kind of show you a little bit of the configurations in a minute. And I shot it over to this one. This one's the, the AP, and it's really cool. You just plug into the power and their PoE, and then I had that one plugged into the back of my laptop. And then it has these indicators on it. You see the signal. I had full strength right there, of course, because I was right at my house. Um, they're pretty awesome little little buggers. So here's me uh, connected to the AP one, and it, you can put it in an AP mode. They have a whole bunch of modes. And it's pretty awesome. So here it is. It's getting signal, as you can see by the, the blinking lights. It says I'm connected. To, I was just trying to connect to it here, and so of course it's going to say it's not secure because uh, it's HTTPS. But if you notice down in the bottom of my screen, all right, here's the signal again, full bars. And I didn't have to have them pointed at each other apparently. The new radio went that way. But if you see I had full network there. So now let's go ahead and take a look at it again. So yeah, just powered, there's PoE and then just straight plugged to my computer. So you know that I'm not cheating here. But anyways, full internet right there. So let's go ahead and do a speed test real quick. Of course the best speed test is going to YouTube, I'm just making sure YouTube works. <laughs> But what we'll do, we'll go to YouTube, or go to Google, and we'll type in uh, speed test. And look how quick those speeds are. Those are just like my regular LAN. Go ahead, just run a speed test real quick. And just to give you a little bit of a basis, um, for the internet that we're paying here, it's about 45 to, to 50 MIPS. Um, and so you can see right there, we're getting 45 from the bridge. Maybe a 5, five uh, MIP drop, but that's normal for our internet around here and then we're paying for about five uploads so we're getting about four right there which honestly for our network here that's pretty normal so 44.8 and four so uh, they have some pretty awesome stuff for building to them. you just uh, log into their default addresses a word of caution you got to change the other one but they're pretty awesome so if you like this video go ahead and hit a like and go ahead and subscribe thanks for watching